The news now is that the House of Rep member are saying they want to actually carry out investigation to actually curb the excesses of this JTF right there in the Niger Delta because they feel that if this continues, it will definitely not be good for the people. Child, this is another uh, angle, or rather another twist to the death of uh, Izu Joseph. Mm. I mean, what's, what's there to say, Cecilia? It's, it's um, painful. Yeah, the House of Reps, they've been reacting uh, to this particular killing, and uh, um, there's not a lot we can say other than that they have to, it has to be resolved, and, you know, whoever is responsible, whoever is guilty, surely, you know, has to face uh, the music. But the question is, Cecilia, do you trust the system, you know, to resolve this particular issue? That's a million-dollar question right there that I cannot answer, you know, 100 percent. So... Side pans out. I think they don't have a choice because when things like this start happening, he's a footballer and the whole world, everyone is watching. It was everywhere when the whole thing happened. Yeah. So they know that, yes, they need to actually, you know, I mean, just investigate and see how it happened because we are hearing different version of the story. You heard uh, from the, the, those who witnessed it says, okay, this wasn't actually what happened. And the man yeah. said, look, this is what happened. And even the people in the community were saying, look, we've been telling them not to go to that den, but he was there. But whatever happened, I mean, when you find someone, what about shooting in the leg or something, you don't just uh, shoot to kill. I think that's what they actually need to investigate. Yeah, Why do you have to shoot not. to kill? Especially when these guys are really not armed. There's even a five-year-old a girl that was actually also, you know, you know, affect that's this same uh, extrajudicial killing also affected a five year old girl. Just the same environment. Well, let's listen to a member of the House of Rep now talking about how many people that were killed at that particular incident. People of the motion say the House is concerned that while carrying out their constitutional role in the Bielsa State Command particularly at a place called a Keki community in Yenagoa local government area, to be precise, the police is alleged to have been engaged in extrajudicial killings. The House is further concerned that in the last two weeks, the Nigerian Police Force Bielsa State Command slash the Joint Task Force has shot and killed four innocent Nigerians, namely Innocent Kokorifa, a 17 years old boy, Izu Joseph, a footballer with 3SC in a badon, Ian, a 30 years old man, and God Gift. Oduku, a five-year-old girl. The house is worried that the trend, if not checked, may lead to breakdown of law and order. A situation where people will be forced to defend themselves from attacks from the very police who have been paid by taxpayers' money to protect them. Ahead from the House of Rep. Hopefully, they can actually investigate, call, them, call all of them to order so that incident like this will not happen again. But the thing is that there's, I mean, people, they are dead and may they so rest in peace. They can't be back to their families. I would just pray that God would give the fortitude, of, give, well, the family just have the fortitude to actually bear the loss of their loved ones.